Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video show. I'm here. If you don't know me, I run onelinelabs.com, which is a lean generation personalized first line writing service, as well as run for your reels, which is a reel creation service. I also have my coaching program called SMMA Incubator for the Indian audience. So make sure to have all the links down below. In today's video, I'm going to be covering one of the most viral topics on my channel, which is instantly.ai and actually how to send out cold emails using instantly. I've seen a lot of people struggle with setting up the instantly account as well as getting the first campaign live. So in this video, I'm going to shake you to my screen and actually show you how you can do exactly that. So yeah, let's get to my screen. Perfect. Now that you guys can see my screen, uh, I'm on instantly.ai. You can use the link down in the description to support the channel if you want. Uh, I'm sorry for the noise outside. It's just a little bit uh, noisy today, but I just really want to record this video for you guys. So all you need to do is come on instantly and click on get started. Once you click on get started, you'll be taken up to the sign up page wherein you'll be able to put your first name, your last name, uh, the email you want to be using as well as the password. And all you need to do is you agree to the terms and click on join now. As simple as that, you'll be taken to this instantly screen right over here. Now I have disconnected some of my accounts to show you how to connect one afresh. So once you reach over here, you can see that you have email accounts, you've got the lead finder, which is of course uh, the new feature that instantly offers of actually loading leads from right over here. You've got your campaigns, you've got your Unibox, you've got your analytics as well as your lead management. Uh, if I come into your settings to show you uh, what the plans look like. So you've got plans of $37, which is the basic plan. And you also got the hyper growth plan, which is $97 a month, which I would recommend you to do once you have some sort of an experience with cold email. And then of course you have the light speed plan, which is $358 a month. This is of course for somebody who's already, you know, uh, great with cool email they know exactly what they want to be doing uh, if you want there's a lead finder trial as well which you guys can take i have a tutorial on that as well which i'll link somewhere over here but yeah let's come back to connecting your email accounts so all you need to do is come under email accounts and click on add new this will ask you to connect a new email account which is either gmail office or imap you click on gmail right over here now it'll ask you to enable your imap now enabling imap basically means that all you need to do is go on the email that you want to be connecting. The email I'll be connecting is shiv at dunfiorreels.com. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on settings over here. And I'm going to go see all settings. And under here, you want to go on forwarding pop and IMOP. And you have to enable IMAP over here. Make sure you save the changes over here. I already have it enabled, so it doesn't matter. Uh, then you go into... Uh, yes, IMAP has been enabled. Now it'll ask you either to do app password or do OAuth. I'll always do OAuth because it's much easier. All you have to do is go to your Google Sp uh, Workspace admin panel. Uh, it'll take you right over here. So for example, for donefiorreels.co, uh, my uh, panel starts with shivam at donefiorreels.com. So uh, let me just go to that. Here you go. That is the admin panel that is. I'm going to just log in quickly. And basically what this basically does is authorizes instantly to keep sending emails through your account. So once we are signed in into this account, I'm going to go and click on add app and you go OAuth app name or client ID. You go back to connect ID and you copy this, you copy this and you paste it over here and you click on search and it will show you instantly authorized AV1. You click on this select, you tick this and you select it and then you say all users so that you don't have to do this process again and again and then you do continue and then you do app can request all google data so it's trusted then you click continue again and then you finish this up now i already do have uh, my configured apps as instantly.ai so you can see instantly over here is already there so i'm not just going to finish the process and now all you have to do is click on login and you go on the account that you want to be connecting so for example in this case I want to be connecting shivam at dunfairyreel.com or shiv at dunfairyreel.com, anything. I allow the data to be driven and it shows connecting account and now it's connected. It's as simple as that. It literally took me three and a half minutes to go from here to here. But basically what you want to do after this is you want to enable your warm up. Now warm up is a very important aspect of instantly because it helps you not land in spam. Uh, instantly is... I would say two weeks is the minimum period that I would recommend you guys to warm up your email. So you click on this fire emoji right over here. You click on your settings. So once you go into settings over here, uh, I'll just show you first the settings. So we don't have any signature. 
uh, which is okay my daily campaign limit this is my warm up plus new campaign sent out limit is 50 uh, my minimum wait time i want it to be about 3 minutes uh, you can use custom tracking domain uh, so basically what you want to be doing is you want to go on your dns settings for the one that you've set up and put the c name as instantly prop stocksley so what i'm going to do is i'm going to check because i think i already done this for this account but let's just check status and it should be basically uh showing as connected if not then i'll have to go back and do it again but it's fairly simple all you have to do is wherever you bought the domain from you need to do that uh i will recommend you to always have a tracking domain enabled so that it's much easier you don't want a warm up tag if you do want a warm up tag just say i want a custom tag you should increase your warm up per day as one and your daily warm up limit should be 20 uh your reply rate should be 30% at max now these advanced settings enable once you actually are on the $97 plan perfect so now that we've done it it'll show up as green over here i'll just set up my tracking domain so that it does and then you have your warm up on for 2 weeks uh for a new campaign to be set up all you need to do is click on create campaign add new i'll do test 1 continue and it'll create a lead sequence so you have to add your leads over here so if you click on add leads Uh, you can use the lead finder that this provides you, or you can upload a CSV, enter manually, or use Google Sheets, whichever be your uh, preference. Under sequence, you've got your subject. So subject line can be, uh, let's take an example of quick question, first name, and that's our line. And then you have hey, and then you basically want a variable over here. So you can have variable as first name. So for example, if you need your first name. so your lead structure should have first name i'll allow you to have first name over here and basically you've got your content your body and then your name and if you want to have a follow up variant follow up uh, thing you have to click on add step you have to leave the uh, subject line empty so it becomes a thread under each other and then you say just pumping this up and then you add a variant or if you want you can just do wait time for 3 days and then you click on schedule you've got your schedule of which time zone you want to be sending it to what's the name of the schedule and under options you get to choose which accounts you need to use to send out these emails uh, always enable stop sending emails on reply so that if somebody replies to you don't send a follow up email uh, you can enable open tracking or disable it. it it depends on you you can also do link tracking if you got a link in your first email If you send them as obviously a HTML file, your uh, open tracking would automatically be disabled. Uh, for a new uh, email, I would suggest you to start with twenty five and then later ramp up to thirty, and you just click launch and it's done. So instantly setting up is as simple as that. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, do hit the like button and subscribe down below. I'll be coming out with more software based videos as well. Uh, so stay tuned for that, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.